I actually had a chance to visit Cox's Bazar, where there's nearly a million uh, refugees in Bangladesh uh, earlier this year. Uh, and it is a dire situation there. The United States is now the largest supporter of the Rohingya in terms of our humanitarian aid. And we've been working closely uh, with other countries around the world to increase support for the Rohingya. Uh, we have been also advocating with the government uh, of Bangladesh, who has been very generous to ensure that Rohingya have access to education, other means of livelihood, so that we don't lose an entire generation of young people. Uh, and so that we give hope to a people uh, that uh, has been displaced and has been subject to genocide. Uh, we want to, of course, make sure that we do everything we can to ensure that uh, Rohingya are able to safely, at the right time, uh, return home. But in, in the meantime, it's up to the international community to work together to do everything that we can uh, to support uh, Rohingya while they're in uh, Bangladesh as refugees. The Uyghurs have been subjected to a horrific genocide by the Chinese. Um, the United States uh, has taken a number of actions, including uh, recognizing that China is a country of particular concern when it comes to uh, violating religious freedom. Uh, we've imposed a series of, of tough sanctions against the Chinese, and we have passed the Uyghur uh, Forced Labor Prevention Act uh, in Congress, which was signed into law earlier this year by President Biden, which puts the burden on companies that import from Xinjiang to show that the products that they're importing are not product of forced labor. Uh, we believe that that is having some economic impact uh, on uh, the Chinese, and it's sending a very clear signal as well that their actions uh, are unacceptable. Now, what we need more of is we need more countries around the world, particularly Muslim-majority countries, uh, to acknowledge what's happening in China and to raise their voices uh, and to increase their cooperation uh, in our efforts to respond to the genocide uh, of the Uyghurs. And that's something that I spoke about at the forum, and it's something that's going to continue to be a part of the work of our office.